it's darker there, kind of coming there on his ear. So it's kind of out here, just, just darker. in there which are cream but I, I think I'll do them in white so it gives it a bit more you know that flecky look that these little dogs have that like real flecky fleckiness that's it I think yeah um just a little bit white here so I'm just going to put a bit of pink over it, then I'm going to put some cream in there, I think. So just streaks, just about here, then we'll put some cream over it. some flecky, flecky bits in there. Just teeny bits. I can see there's a kind of line of flecks going up to here somehow. Okay, how's that looking? Um, a bit better, I think. Could be a bit more yellow, but we'll just leave it at that for now, there. Need to be a bit brighter here, I think. And just looking a bit subdued. I'll do it with white first. There is cream on there. I think I'll just leave it like that, actually. Over these. Yeah, there's certainly a lot going on in this picture actually, there's a lot, a lot happening. I know these are too thick here but I quite like them, I think we'll just leave it. I might just put a bit more red. Red on the through there streaks. Orange and then the red. 
at this point we just have to try out the colours and see what you like. See what you like in the cup. They go a bit thick, just go around them. Just tiny little specks of black. It's really interesting for me actually because when I watch my videos back I can see how much I've missed and often when I'm watching the videos I'll actually just come to this and put, put in what I've left out so you may well see a few changes but it just made me realise just that you know that's what happens you know it doesn't matter how much drawing you've done you can't see everything at once if you're focusing on little details here and there, you will miss bits, important big bits. Like this bit here, this, this line here. See, I can see that's totally wrong, not right. I, I say, I keep saying wrong, it's, it's just not, not how I wanted it. That line's going up there, and we've got some sort of greyish bits going through there. And then we've got a little bit of a nice sort of fleck on the end here, which is here. And I know it's cream, but at this point it needs to be white really, so it will show up. And then we can go over these black bits with the white and make that grey flecky bit. Just stab it, just softens it all up then. So yes, um, this also, this is coming up here, so we've got a bit of, it's too black up there, it's making it look wrong. see how this can really this could really end up looking fiddly couldn't it if you were too undecisive about your marks that isn't going to look very good at all so you just have to be careful not to do what I just did make it look a bit messy but I wanted to get it right and I think it's looking better now because this line here is better that's better and that's better it's a bit dark, so I'll just go over it with, with orange. And take that hair up there. And up there. That is actually black. We'll put that in black as well. Just a very light touch there. That's it. And just leave it at that. It's black going through here. These are the little flecky black bits. They're not massively black. They're just flecky. Flecky looking. That's very blurred in there. It's got a kind of sharpness to it. So I'm just trying to get this right really. Needs to be right. That's very strong in there. That needs to be stronger. That's bending it. Bending it and around us to the end. Then that darkness coming in there. Now that could be a little bit thicker, that bit on the end. So we'll do it in cream, I think, just for a start. And then just get some of that on the end there, just gives it a bit of thickness. Then we'll go over in red. Yeah, I think it's a bit better. Yeah, I think 
Let's look at that up huh? Some white white line here. more than streaking us in here. Need to get that little patch there. It's not strong enough. A lot of pastel on here now. Even though we don't use much pastel, it's found its way there. I need to just mark that out a bit more. do much more with this curly licky it's a ringlet really to just emphasize the middle of them really so just soften up the edges that's an easy way to do it right I just want to get some streaky bits going in here now just little bits and pieces that's okay, that might be there, it's quite nice.
I'm worried about making that a real block of black there because we're going to have some streaks going through it so don't need to do that really because it's, it's still got some hairs to go through there just want to kind of keep that nice bit there I don't think the orange is strong enough for that. We need, to, we need to go with a dark orange, I think, really, for it to show and look, look nice. So I'll just do some streaks. Streaks up and through it. see that it's just blend it down you can see it's giving it a bit more emphasis there with a the, the, the deep orange rather than the, the one we put on before which was a light one mostly light one of green glints of white anyway it doesn't need to be a lot going on there don't really want a lot going on there kind of quite blended out really Nice line, that's nice to get in. Soften it back slightly. Black, yeah. And then got some nice white. subdued in there. That shows up a little bit more. I've got another ringlet type thing here. So not not really making it up. I'm, I'm seeing where the lighter hairs are. They're grey really. Um, but because the white's going over the back, it's kind of looking a bit grey, silvery grey. And we've got a nice black line coming through here actually. Put that in. Then we can try the light orange here. Got some nice... Yeah, see it's not... It's not dark enough. We'll go over that with a dark orange. As 
you can see, these aren't sharp. See, none of these pencils I'm using at the moment are sharp. But I've been careful to try and keep the tips. See, you can see. The cream, they're all kind of rounded, look. You don't always need a sharp pencil. Some things you do, but a lot of the time you actually don't. like at my hairdresser side is coming in here trying to put a wave in there I've got to be very careful with this that it doesn't look too contrived so we'll just try and get a bit messy with this I think it needs to be a bit messy and then just knock it all back It's going to be mounted like that. attention to his ear a bit. We need to get some lilac in there I think. We'll leave those colours for a moment. Some lilac and light blue. I think. So these now in this light they're looking a bit lilac -y to me. So we've got the white on. I can now put a bit more lilac on here and there. Just uh, give it a bit more, more colour and make it shine look more realistic really. They're a bit darker. Get some dark blue on there I think. Okay, I think I should probably stop now and um, Start the video up again a bit later. Okay. Okay. See you later.